Hello everyone, this is Jenna Ryan, and the audio today is entitled, 20 Signs of Disrespect. Disrespect is a way of someone treating you or you treating someone else that is rude, unpleasant, inappropriate, unprofessional, and not good for your soul, not good for your self-esteem. So it's very important that you catch disrespect and that you protect yourself against it by either distancing from the person, setting boundaries, going no contact, whatever it is that you need to do to get the proper respect around you. Now that's not what this video is about though. This audio is about signs of disrespect. We're going to just kind of really, you need to sharpen your skills at noticing what disrespect is. And you always feel disrespect in your heart, but sometimes it becomes difficult to notice it, especially if it's someone who's close to you, someone whom you respect yourself, someone who you have had great dealings with in the past, then it becomes more difficult to see disrespect. So I'm here to highlight these ways of being disrespected. One way of being disrespected is someone doesn't listen to you. They just kind of halfway listen to you or they're just not listening to you at all. Or they may listen to you, but you can tell that they don't really care what you just said. So you may be talking to them and they're on their phone. They're looking away. They're constantly distracted. They can't really stay on the subject that you're speaking about. Now, this might be due to mental illness or physical illness. If you're talking about someone elderly, <laughs> that's different. But I'm just talking about a healthy person, maybe um, your husband, your wife, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your best friend. They're just not listening, and you can tell. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they do not value your time. They don't value your time, so they don't show up. They stand you up. They show up 30 minutes late. They cancel at the last minute. Someone who is not respectful of you is going to not value your time. And so what do you do in those cases? You make sure that you know what you're dealing with. You don't continue to put yourself in the line of fire and allow yourself to waste time waiting on them. You, you set a boundary. Um, you can tell another sign of disrespect is body language, how they are giving you eye contact whether they're in tune with you and their body is in tune with you, or are they looking over your shoulder? Are they looking at their watch? Are they yawning? There's different signs of your body language that show respect or not. Someone who disrespects you is going to ignore you. You could be in a group of people and every time you bring up a topic of conversation, they just ignore what you just said. And they talk to someone else and someone else brings up a topic of conversation and they go on all day. That is absolute obvious disrespect. And you need to feel in your heart and know, Ooh, I'm being disrespected. What can I do to protect myself? And that's not what this audio is about. We're just talking about signs. People that are condescending to you, that put you down, that act like you don't know, or they know better than you. That is a sign of disrespect. Someone who lies to you, who, um, you know, of course cheats on you, lies to you, doesn't tell you the whole truth, withholds information that you need, that is someone who's disrespecting you. So you want to do what it takes to fix that situation so that you can restore honor to yourself. Whenever someone is disrespecting you, you're going to have a bad feeling in your heart. You just have this bad feeling around them. Maybe you can't pinpoint why you might want to look around and see what ways they might potentially be disrespecting you because sometimes disrespect is very subtle. It's not really, you know, obvious. Sometimes it's downright obvious. So if they, if you have a bad feeling when you get around someone, that could be a sign, a big sign of dis that they're disrespecting you. If they're putting you down and insulting you, of course, that is disrespect. That is very disrespectful. Let's see, what are we on now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight. Oh, no, that's nine. Nine. 
Number nine is devaluation. If they're devaluing your needs, if they're devaluing your home, your physical body, your decisions, if they're devaluing you, that is equal to disrespect. That means they do not respect you. They do not have any regard for you. And it's up to you to have regard for you and to respect yourself by putting a stop to all devaluation the minute you recognize it. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. The silent treatment is another sign of disrespect. Someone who gives you the, the silent treatment because maybe you've set up a boundary and then they no longer will respond to you or if they withdraw from the relationship or if you now just because someone withdraws from a relationship with you doesn't always mean disrespect because people might be withdrawing because they're protecting themselves for some reason. So you really want to look at that, but you you have, um, you know, the silent treatment, withdrawing people that are neglectful of your friendship that can be disrespect, but it could also mean that maybe you're behaving in an unhealthy way and they want to protect themselves. So just really look at things and see, are you being disrespected? And that's, that's the hard one about the silent treatment is it gets you to wondering, is it my fault? Am I to blame? That's why I hate the silent treatment because it's like, it's just, it leaves so many open, open questions. But if you look and see someone has a pattern of silent treatment, then it's a, it's a form of disrespect. It's like, I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to talk to you. I don't want to. Physical abuse. Now, physical abuse, of course, is disrespect. Anyone who abuses your physical body is disrespecting you. But also anybody who um, doesn't, doesn't adhere to your physical boundaries, someone who, you know, comes closer to you than what you feel, you, you keep backing up and they keep coming closer, that is a form of disrespect. You know, it, you may feel aroused by that if it's, you know, someone you're dating or whatever, but it's also a form of disrespect unless they have your permission. You know, you, you really, people need to keep their physical boundaries in place. Slander, if someone talks behind your back and gossips about you, that is an absolute disrespect. That means that they are not respectful of themselves or of you. Someone who doesn't honor their agreements, they tell you they're going to do something, but they fail to do it. That is disrespect. Someone who ignores your boundaries. If someone is ignoring your boundaries, that is disrespect. They may act like they don't know it's a boundary. They may ignore the boundary. They may, you know, hear what you're saying and go ahead and do it anyway and act innocent. But that act is not good enough. It means they're disrespecting you and you have to take a stand and stand up for yourself and not be a doormat. If they don't listen to your concerns, that is disrespect. Because if you have concerns, you have the right to voice your concerns in relationship and you have the right to be respected. And if they don't listen to what you're saying and they just, you know, act like they dismiss what you're saying, then that is disrespect. If they try to, def to force their way of life upon you, maybe their religious values, if they try to force themselves on you or say that the way you live your life is not right, that is a form of disrespect. If someone wants to be gay and, you know, engage in same-sex relationships, it's not up to someone else to tell them what they can and cannot do. If someone wants to be a monk and not go to the Christian church, then they have the right to do that. It's disrespect to tell them that how to live. In my opinion, <clears throat> it's disrespect to give unsolicited advice. If someone gives unsolicited advice and have you ever had someone who just tries to tell you how to live your life? You're simply just trying to explain, you know, what's going on in your life and be vulnerable and share what's going on. And that person just starts telling you what to do. That is disrespect. You need to notice it. 
because you don't need another person to tell you what to do if you're an adult. Adults have their ability to make their own decisions and should be able to count on their close friends and people in their lives to listen and trust that they can make decisions that are in their best interest. You can give advice, but only if someone asks you for it. Someone who won't apologize or take responsibility for their actions, that is disrespect. Someone who doesn't, you know, who blames other people, that's a form of disrespect. Someone who makes commands. Someone who says, do this, do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. That is a form of disrespect. Adults do not need to be commanded. Adults do not need to be bossed around. You're not a puppet. You're not a rag doll. You do not need someone who comes to you and makes commands. And then a bonus is pushes your buttons. Talks about things that you don't want to talk about. Pushes your buttons in any way, shape, or form. Things that they know that trigger you, bother you, um, you know, just starts asking inappropriate questions. Those are forms of disrespect. I'm sure there are many more signs of disrespect, but these are what I could think of here. The 20 signs of disrespect. What other forms of disrespect do you know about? What really bothers you when people do things to you? So that is all for the audio today. I hope you like this. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know when you've been disrespected 